Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today is a very, very, very special haul that I'm sharing with you guys. So I uh, had a lot of friends traveling uh, to the UK or to the US uh, this year in the summer and I kind of got them to bring me my makeup and beauty knickknacks. So that's what I'm going to share with you guys today. So let's get into it. So I'm going to first start with all the soap and glory stuff that I managed to get from London. Uh, two of my friends actually went to London this time so they both were nice enough to bring me stuff. So the first thing is uh, the Soap and Glory Heal Genius which is an amazing foot cream. I know I've shared this in a previous favorites video and I have also shown an empty bottle of this in my last beauty empties. So um, this is like my holy grail and it says it's better than a pedicure which I, I can vouch for. I can assure you that this works um, just as well as a pedicure if not better. And uh, you know if you just put it on overnight and wear socks, the next morning your feet are going to be like a baby's bottom. Uh, love the consistency of this, it's very very lightweight and uh, it's a very pretty blue in color. And I believe this has some nice ingredients like macadamia oil, glycerin, orange and lemon fruit acid smoothers which uh, work on your feet and, um, and gives you like really really soft and smooth feet. And the next thing is a foamy fruity body scrub called Pulp Friction. I believe uh, you can find this at the Sephora in uh, Delhi because the Sephora in Delhi also carries soap and glory. And, uh, I've never tried this but I've heard wonderful things and uh, this is in the fragrance called Fruity Go. So Soap and Glory has like four or five different fragrances and I've only ever tried the original pink one. Um, this is going to be my first time trying the Fruity Go and I have smelled it. It smells quite nice and fruity and it's not like overbearingly fruity but uh, it's quite pleasant so I'm really excited to try this. Then I also got this kit called Clean Getaway and uh, this basically has like travel size uh, minis of 4 items. So these are the 4 items in the Clean Getaway kit and uh, the first thing is this Righteous Butter which is also in the pink, uh, the original pink Soap and Glory fragrance and then there is Hand Food which also smells like the pink fragrance. Then there is uh, Calm One, Calm All which is a bubble bath and uh, then there is the Clean On Me Shower Gel which is a smaller version of the really big bottle that I have and I've been using the Clean On Me Shower Gel for a long long time and I really like it because it smells like the same, you know, the original pink scent which I absolutely love and uh, I think I'm going to throw this and this in my gym bag and I'm going to use this, um, you know, when I shower at the gym. So let's get into the makeup items from Soap and Glory. The first thing is the 2-in-1 Brow uh, Sculpting and Setting Gel and uh, this is what it looks like. It is basically a slightly chubbier brow pencil with the angled uh, part on one side. You know how much I love my um, you know, angled brow pencils. So this is in the shade Brown Points and there is also a very skinny little wand with a setting gel on the other side. Then I also got uh, this setting powder called One Heck of a Blot from Soap and Glory. Uh, now this is a translucent setting powder which is pressed. It's usually hard to find pressed powders which are translucent in color and you know they don't uh, leave a lot of cakiness and residue on the face. It's a little tough to open this honestly without chipping your nail paint. So this is what it looks like, it has a giant mirror here and a powder puff which I'm probably not going to use and this is just a clear plastic thing on top and this is what it looks like, it is slightly yellowish, whitish in colour and I think when I work this behind my hand it's basically going to look colourless because it's translucent. I'm mostly going to be using this with a powder brush and not a powder puff. I also got the Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick Duo from Stila. Uh, this is a very very beautiful bright red and this is a very very bright popping kind of hot pink. Uh, the red one is called Beso and the pink one is called Bella and uh, I haven't tried the red one yet. I've tried the pink one which is super 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 bright. 
uh, by the way guys today i mean i'm not wearing this today i have the miss claire soft matte lip cream on in number 10 uh, but i think this is going to be a lot brighter than um, any of my other red liquid lipsticks or soft matte lip creams and i'm really excited to try this so I have actually used the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick before and I think it's an absolutely flawless product. Uh, it stays on for you know a really long time without wearing off from the center. You know how liquid lipsticks sort of just wear off uh, right here and have that horrible uh, butthole lip. I just hate that and that does not happen with my other Stila Liquid Lipstick. So I thought I would get two more minis. Then I got two primer minis. Uh, one is the Too Faced Hangover X Primer which you may have seen me use in one of my videos earlier and it's very very hydrating and really nice. So I always like using uh, primer minis before I can commit to a full size one. Then I also got this Freeze 24 7 and Go uh, Primer which is an instant smoother and brightener. This can be used under or over makeup and I basically think that this is exactly like the benefit professional and um, yeah i quite liked it i've never heard of this brand before but uh, i i do enjoy having this primer it smells really minty and nice so back in 2012 when i used to live in london i was doing my makeup school and you know my hair styling courses in london i used to have uh, some of my favorites at boots uh, particularly from rimmel and from you know max factor I used to love all these um, you know uh, london or uk drugstore brands which were not exactly available in india at the time but now thanks to nika and you know new you and stuff you can find these things here as well so i ordered this uh, from london this time one is the Rimmel Exaggerate uh, Lip Liner. This is the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in the color East End Snob. And this is probably my fourth lip liner pencil. And uh, I've used this a whole lot. I really, really like the color. It's a very pretty uh, light pink nude color. And this actually breaks very easily, which is what I don't like about it. But I'm careful now that I've used it a whole lot and i keep buying this again and again and i run out of it very quickly for some odd reason the next thing is this rimmel lasting finish soft color blush in the shade light pink and i must have shown this in my last empties video because i completely ran out of this this is probably the only blush which i've finished off completely and like just completely cleaned out the pan so this is my refill and I haven't started using yet but I'm so excited and I can't wait to use it again because this is my favorite drugstore blush of all time. And then onto my favorite favorite mascara from the British drugstore. This is the Max Factor 2000 Calories Mascara and uh, I used to use this a whole lot when I was in makeup school but I haven't used this in a long time now but I'm really really looking forward to get back into the Max Factor 2000 calories. It creates a lot of volume and you know it's very very lengthening so I'm really excited to start using this again. So the thing that I'm most excited about is this tiny little sample of the Mary Luminizer. I think my friend picked this up at Boots so it was probably a free sample and just look at how cute this is. There is a tiny little Mary Luminizer in here which is probably even smaller than like a Coastal Sense eyeshadow but don't you just love this? I think this is so cute and uh, I keep the big Mary Luminizer in my professional kit now and this stays in my personal makeup bag and I'm so 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 happy that I got this cute little Mary Luminizer. And the next thing are these two face masks and these are basically you know the kinds that you can use maybe three or four times and this is from a brand called Nug. I'm, I hope I'm saying that right I'm not sure how that's pronounced and I actually tried this for the first time in the US. I picked it up at Ulta. I had no idea that you get them in the UK as well. This one is the soothing one and this one is the hydrating one and I think I'm going to keep these uh, for the slightly drier months because right now it's rainy and my skin is actually um, a little on the oily side so I'm just going to hold on to these for when my skin gets a little more dry. So let's get into some exciting goodies all the way from America. Uh, my bestest friend in the world lives in LA and she's always always nice enough to do all my shopping for me 
and you know i basically just tell her what i want and she has it shipped to herself so her mom was coming back to india and she uh, sent me all these goodies that i can't live without and some new and exciting items so the first one is this uh, red ken uh, heat styling spray which is basically a thermal protecting spray so before i blow dry or straighten or curl my hair this is what i spray in and i've used an entire bottle of this love the smell absolutely love how smooth and uh, you know shiny it makes my hair and uh, now this is going to be my second bottle and if you can get your hands on this then definitely do try it out so the next item is also a must have primer from nyx uh, this is the nyx studio perfect photo loving primer now this comes in a lot of different colors but i like to have this in the shade spp01 which is clear or transparent and i remember the first time i picked this up it was at sephora in delhi and then they stopped carrying nyx altogether i know nykaa carries nyx now but uh, i couldn't find this particular primer uh, on the nykaa site and you know they quickly ran out of everything as soon as uh, they launched nykaa uh, as soon as they launched nyx on nykaa so i got it from the us also i think that a lot of nyx items on the nykaa website are quite overpriced as compared to what uh, they go for in the united states so the next thing i got from nyx was this clear eyebrow gel which is called control freak and uh, i was uh, you know looking through nyx products on ulta.com and there was like a buy one get half off on the second one so that's what i did i first picked up this uh, nyx primer and then i got a half off on um, the eyebrow gel I also stocked up on my favorite contouring powder uh, which is the NYX blush in taupe and I got two of them one is for me and one is for a friend you guys know how I love my cool toned contouring powders and the NYX blush in the color taupe is absolutely amazing it gives you the most natural looking believable kind of depth under your cheekbones so if you have a chance to try this out definitely definitely buy this uh it's not like a bronzer or anything it's a proper contouring powder which gives you the most natural looking definition so i also got the very exciting and newly launched l'oreal pro glow foundation and uh, i already own the l'oreal infallible uh, pro matte foundation and as soon as i found out that there was a pro glow foundation coming out i got very excited because i have dry skin and this is for normal to dry skin and it has a very beautiful radiant finish This is what I have on today and I'm in the shade Nude Beige 203 and you know whenever you're buying foundations online it's always kind of a gamble and no matter how much of an expert you are you're always a little nervous about whether the foundation will match you whether it will be too yellow or too light or too pink but I think this worked out really really well and this also has an SPF of 15 So I'm always on the lookout for really, really kick-ass sharpeners for my, you know, eyeliners and lip liners. I used to have these two from Bourjois, which were awesome. So I usually keep my eyeliner sharpener separate from my lip liner sharpener because I don't want the colors to sort of get mixed up. And uh, when I was going through the Ulta website, the one from Lancome was very highly rated. So I decided to give one of them a try. It was an eight dollar sharpener, which is a little pricey for a sharpener. So I thought I'll try one of them, and uh, you know if it works well, then I'll get another one for you know my lip liners. And uh, so far, I really really like it. I have tried to sharpen you know those kinds of pencils which are really plasticky and difficult to sharpen. So uh, it worked out really well, and I'm very happy with the Lancome sharpener. So I placed an order on morphebrushes.com and I am so excited to share all of these things with you guys. Um first off I got these 11 brushes. So like a very good student I sat down and watched uh, videos of Jacqueline and of Manny and of Patrick Star and you know just sort of sat down with a notepad and a pen and uh, started taking notes on what brushes do they all recommend and what brushes do they like. and at the back of my mind i obviously knew what are the brushes that i'm lacking in my kit so i decided to pick up these 11 and i'm just going to go through uh, each of them one by one i know they look a little dirty because i already used them i couldn't resist 
So the first one is this M335 which is basically a, a very chubby buffing brush which is really good for the under eyes and you know for blending out concealer and if you just wanted to sort of uh, lay down your cream contour so um, this I've obviously already used because it's dirty and I love it. The next one was the M601 fan brush and uh, I haven't tried this one yet and I'm really excited to. I want to see if this compares to my Sephora fan brush or is it better or not. So I will keep you guys posted on that. The next one is the E20 which is uh, from the Elite Collection. There was a sale on the Elite Collection because I believe they are discontinuing it. And this is again very similar uh, you know, to the other chubby brush the m355 this is also you know like a slightly more tapered uh, buffing brush so i think i'm going to keep one in my professional kit and keep one for my personal use i'm not sure which one will go where as of right now then i got the morphe m439 and as you can tell i've already used it in fact i think i've used it thrice today i used this to apply my moisturizer and i absolutely loved it I don't think I can apply my moisturizer as well with my fingertips as I could with this. Absolutely in love with this. I don't think there's any unnecessary hype about it because it lives up to all the hype and all the drama that is there about this brush. It's so, so good. Then I also got this E19 lip brush again from the Elite Collection. Was on sale. Haven't used it yet. Feels good though. It's quite stiff. I think it's going to do a really good job, uh, you know, defining the lip. Another one from the Elite Collection was this uh, E37 brush, uh, which is a slightly chubby eyeliner brush. I was hoping this would be skinnier, but it has ended up being a little thick, but I haven't used it yet. Let's see how it works. Hopefully it works out well. Then I got the Morphe M510, which is this uh, long fluffy brush uh, and uh, Manny really recommended this, uh, you know, for applying highlighter um, I've usually always used either the fan brush to apply highlighter or the real techniques setting brush which is what this is very very similar to and I already used this to apply my highlighter with this and I really liked it it's really specific and you know it's really good for sort of just powdering the under eyes or just if you want to dust off powder over your lids and you know just powder specific areas then this is awesome then I also got the M321 which is basically um, you know a little flexible and it has these black bristles. It's like a small really short uh, brush meant for more specific application if you just wanted to you know lay down color in the outer corner or right into the crease I think this would be really useful for that. Then I got two brushes for blending eyeshadows. This is the M441. Uh, which is a lot like your uh, MAC 224 except it's white and I think this has goat bristles and uh, I've already used it, really like it, super soft and felt amazing so already a fan of this one. Then I got the Morphe M433 which is an exact dupe of the MAC 217 brush or the Sigma E25 blending. Haven't tried this yet but something tells me it's going to be equally awesome. Next is the Morphe M432. Now this is a square brush. I've never owned a brush like this before and I'm not sure um, what this is used for but I just wanted to try it. So I will obviously keep you guys posted and you will see me using this brush in future tutorials. The next thing I got from Morphe was the 12S uh, eyeshadow palette. It basically has 12 eyeshadows which are shimmery and uh, you know just really really metallic and beautiful. This is what the palette looks like. It has all these beautiful neutral very rich in pigment and you know very very metallic in color and uh, let me swatch one or two of these for you on my fingers. Look at that guys. That's just like a light touch. So I watched a couple of videos about the 12S palette and I just couldn't hold myself back. Such richly pigmented uh, metallic shadows and just for $15 you guys can you believe it? So I literally saved the best part of this video for the last and here we go. This is the Becca X Jaclyn Hill uh, Champagne Glow Face Palette and this is 
absolutely limited edition and uh, I don't think you can find it at uh, the Sephora website or in stores anymore but while you know the second it launched I um, made sure that the order was placed for this right here look at that isn't that pretty so the palette comes with a small sample of the backlight priming filter which I've used before and loved so let's get into the palette shall we that's what it looks like there's a giant mirror which is awesome and there's just this little uh, you know thing which tells you the names of the colors so I'm just gonna hold it high up so that I don't blind you with the mirror this one right here is the famous champagne pop which I did not have which was the reason for getting this palette uh, you know to basically own the champagne pop and all the other exciting uh, limited edition stuff in this palette this one right here is prosecco pop which is what i have on today i wanted to really try it on myself and i thought this was going to be a really really um, you know yellow kind of highlight meant for women of color or something that would look nice only on uh, very dark skin but i think this looks very very nice even on me and uh, this one right here is the brightest blush of all time. I don't think the camera is picking it up as bright as it is in real life. This is Pamplemousse. This one right here is Amaretto. And this one is called Rose Spritz. Such a pretty blush with such finely milled shimmer. I'm absolutely in love with this guys. So I really thought that this palette was really hyped up and maybe you know it will be a disappointment but not at all, not one bit. I think the shades are very buttery and you know you get a good amount of product in here. I am so happy, I'm so 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 pleased that I managed to get my hands on it. Ah oh, so buttery, wow, just, just look at that, just like one little swipe and bam, isn't that crazy? So that's the end of my giant haul from the US and the UK. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So I'm just going to go and play a little more with my Jaclyn Hill palette. See you guys. Bye.